better cause then. You know, I'm, I'm happy to hear that it's going to be going to a, a home that somebody really needs it. And uh, like I was telling you earlier, especially this time of year, uh, right around Christmas time, it, it makes you feel even better that it's going to go to somebody that really needs it. Uh, you know, right around the holidays. So, you know, I called them maybe a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, and uh, they're already out here. You know, within two weeks, which was great. Hi, this is Joshua Ingalls, broker with United Real Estate, and I'm at Sharing Connections, which is an amazing non-for-profit organization that collects beds, furniture, and other household items and gives them to families that need them the most. This truck behind me had 12 pickups today from families that donated furniture so that they can go to families that need them. Let's go and meet the team members which make this all possible. Um, so if you want to just introduce yourself and what you do here at Sharing Connections. Hi, I'm Amy Staccalo. Um I'm the warehouse manager uh, here at Sharing Connections and I, I do a lot. <laughs> From driving the truck to picking up donations to cleaning and preparing furniture and items that go out on the floor even repairing items. So how did you get involved with Sharing Connections? I first heard about Sharing Connections when I, I was actually living in a shelter with my two boys. We were in a domestic violence shelter and we came here I, through a housing program where I received excuse me, housing and when I received my housing I was able to come here and pick out furniture. Um, everything you needed to start up a, a home. Oh, that's great. It, it was fabulous. I mean, it was, to be able to come here and to pick out a sofa and a chair and you know a kitchen table and and everything that you get from people here it's amazing and really make it a home oh yeah, yeah. i mean from decorations to everything it's it's wonderful you you started off essentially as a volunteer what's the best way for people to get involved oh volunteer absolutely donate Donate, volunteer. I mean, it's needed. Every day it's needed. What would you say is the best part about uh, being a team member here at Sharing Connections? Seeing the, the people when they receive their stuff, when they're picking it up, they're so grateful. The veterans that come through here brings a tear to my eye and really, they're so grateful. It's so rewarding. I've been there. I know. Yeah. It is. It's. It's amazing that there that there could be some place like this. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Amy. I really appreciate it. I'll give, give you a big hug. Oh, thank you. Thank you for all the happy <laughs> things you're doing. And, uh, I'm so happy that you're here with the Sharing Connections family. And uh, oh, it's fabulous. Keep I'm... up the great work you guys are doing. This is awesome. Thank you. Well, again, thanks, Deb, for agreeing to meet with me. Oh, thanks for coming out. This is really an awesome uh, organization you guys have here. I got to see some of the people loading up an entire U-Haul full mm -hmm. of furniture. And uh, just really, they seem really happy that uh, yeah. it's going to a good home. So Yeah, it's, it really is new life for items and things that people take for granted. And, you know, they no longer need. Um, but somebody else really does, and it's really making a huge difference in that person's life. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about Sharing Connections, uh, the, the story of Sharing Connections. Oh, it's a great story. Um, it, it really is a story of how one person can make a difference because 30-some years ago, one person, our founder, Leanne McGrath, 
had heard about a woman in need who was having a baby and didn't have the items she needed for the baby. So she really kind of went through her neighborhood and her church and took up a collection of items that people had. They had cribs they didn't need. They had a bassinet they didn't need. And that really started the idea of, you know, all the things that we have that we no longer need and making that connection to share with the people that need those very items but don't have the means to get them. So um, Leanne operated this little mission out of her home and out of her garage for many years and then grew into this warehouse and then the second side of the warehouse and the truck going out because people used to just bring things to her house and her garage and drop them off. And, of course, now we have the truck that goes out and picks up and people can call in and schedule delivery and, uh, or I mean a pickup and, and pick up those items and um, put them to good use. And um, So what items could a family donate to Sharing Connections? Oh gosh, um, sofa, end tables, coffee tables, dressers, uh, household items like dishes, silverware. Uh, pots and pans, small kitchen appliances, lamps, things that, anything you can think of that. I, I mean, need. I even saw some clothes and Clothing, coats. we, um, you know, we're, we're, I just went through my closet, got rid of a bunch of coats because we're not using them and they can yeah. keep somebody else warm, but definitely clothing. Um, when families come through, they also pick out clothing for all their family members. So oh, um, coats, you know, scarves, mittens, um, any any kind of clothing that's still in decent shape is good. Awesome. Well, thanks again, Deb, for agreeing to show oh, us around. Thank you. And this is uh, excited to see it in action. And uh, like you said, all the great volunteers, and mm -hmm. I even I even got to, lucky enough to see a, a family. That, oh, good. Uh, oh, good. Check out furniture and great. some items. So great. Thanks yeah. again. All right. Thank you for coming out. All right.